It's Shay here with Athletes Addict, and I'm here again with part two of the uh, collection. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. So first and foremost, I got the um, Pro Issue DW5 A2K. Um, this is part of the 2020 um, A2K lineup, but actually they didn't come out with the DW5 this year on the uh, 2020 lineup, but they did come out with the DW5 for the Pro Issue. Um, so as you see right here, um, if you ever see this on a Wilson glove, um, you're going to want to scoop that because that means it's a pro issue. And um, pro issue gloves are just incredible, man. Wilson pro issue is just, they're in a league of their own. Um, Wilson claims that the only difference is that they're made in a separate warehouse, but that's bullshit. Um, I'm going to tell you that first uh, because they feel 10 times better than a stock glove. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a beauty, man. It's a 12 inch DW5, David Wright. Um, feels a little bit smaller than a 12 inch, but it's perfect for me because um, I'm not a huge 12 inch fan. Um, no homo. But, um, you know, this glove feels incredible. Um, love it. Um, glad I got this one in the collection. Um, yeah, and let's see what we got. Now we got another DW5. This one's actually from 2013, so it's actually pretty old. It's pretty impressive that it still has the tags on it. Um, this thing is a beauty, man. It's, a, um, it's got that orange color with the royal blue um, embroidery. It makes it really pop. And um, yeah, this is another 12 inch. Um, again, David Wright, DW, number five. Um, if you didn't catch that. But. Uh, the only thing about this one is that the hand stall feels a little small for some reason. Um, but other than that, I mean, this glove is perfect. It feels incredible. It's beautiful. Um, and the fact that it's from 2013 is really impressive. Um, it still sits up perfectly. Um, but yeah, uh, that's what we got for the second gloves. Beautiful DW5. Next, we have the, um, the famous Old Glory. Uh, famous for this web right here, basket web with the um, stars on it. Um, so, you know, these stars actually represent the United States of America. If you didn't know that, um, just taught you something. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this goes a beauty, man. I mean, it doesn't need really even need any explaining. 12-inch um, B2 pattern. Um, still new with the tags. You can't really pitch with this because it has so much white on it, unfortunately, but um, I actually didn't even know that because back in my days, um, this, you know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't stop you from pitching for this amount of white. You know, it'd have to be the whole glove being white for you to not be able to pitch with it. So shout out to the dudes in my comments that uh, informed me of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this glove is just straight beauty, you know, um, 12 inch, um, you know, Basically only good for just being on your shelf, but still, um, it's it's a beauty, and yeah, it is what it is. But there we have it, man. I mean, this thing is still stiff as a board, and uh, that's it for the, the old glory. Um, A2000, 1786, 11 and a half, um, autism. So last year, Wilson made a glove. Um, they donated $100,000 to an autism foundation or um, something along those lines, um, a campaign. And uh, so they came out with this glove for that, to fund that. And um, they did a good job, I can't lie. It's um, got that smoke gray color, the um, Columbia blue. I don't know what Wilson calls it, but um, Columbia blue or whatever. Um, binding and stitching um, this thing feels really good um, if you have this glove or you have the opportunity to get it I would snag it because I would say in a couple years this one's going to be um, a really good one to have it's going to be worth a lot more um, it's going to be really sought after but um, yeah so I would snag it if you can but they did make a lot but um, you know they, they it's even as early as it's been, you know, it hasn't even been close to a year and they're, they're kind of hard to find now. So, um, if you find one of these, snag it for sure. Um, you know, especially because I know Wilson pretty much made the, this glove to support some of you guys. So, uh, might as well support it back.
Um, but yeah, I mean, this glove is a beauty, man. 1786, 11 and a half. Yeah, now we got a catcher's mitt. Um, so I don't have too many mitts at all. This is actually one of the only ones that I have. But um, this thing is goddamn beauty, man. And it feels so good. Um, I would have this. I, I, I like this mitt just for the feel of it. I mean, not only is it beautiful, but I mean, it's got snake skin, black snake skin, gray, red stitching. Um, but whenever I tell you that this glove feels incredible, man, I mean, this is the real deal when it comes to a mitt. 33 and a half M1D pattern. Um, if you have, this was a limited edition exclusive, um, dropped on Wilson's website, so they're kind of hard to find. They sold out pretty quick, but if you get the opportunity to get one of these, snag it, man. This thing feels great. Um, yeah. I don't know why I have pretty much all Wilson today, but that's what it is. Uh, maybe I'll do more Rawlings next time, but this thing's nice, man. And now we have one of my favorites of all time, the H2R, H, uh, A2K, Hanley Ramirez glove. Um, got that teal and brown. I mean, this thing, I, I've owned about three or four of these, and um, every single one has felt incredible because um, as most of you probably know, whenever you get you know, you can get the same glove twice, um, and one's gonna feel way better than the other. I don't know why that happens, but um, it is what it is, and for some reason, this glove is always consistent with feeling amazing. Um, they're hard to find, it's pretty, you know, they're pretty expensive, but um, if you come across one at a good price, man, snag it for sure, because you won't be disappointed. This thing feels incredible. Um, you know, this thing's pretty much new without tags, and I mean, it feels so damn good. I would gain this in a second. So yeah, the H2R, it's 11.75. Um, I mean, I, this thing's perfect for middle infield. Get away with third base with it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's amazing, man. And last but not least, we have the, um, an exclusive A2000, 1786, so 11.5. Um, this was an exclusive to Wilson.com. Uh, they didn't make a ton of them. They sold out pretty quick, but um, I mean this thing is So damn beautiful. It's uh, as you can see it's blonde. It's got the uh, navy snake skin red um, welting um, Blonde lacing. I mean this the color scheme on this is incredible um, The only thing I will say is that this one kind of feels kind of shitty uh, I'm not sure why that is and I've had like three other ones and they felt great this one just doesn't feel too great for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's something about it, but it does look really good. So, I mean, most people probably wouldn't use this anyway. I would, but a lot of people wouldn't. Um, you know how some people are, they buy the gloves and just to have them on a shelf, never take the tags off. I think that's fucking stupid, by the way, guys. Excuse my language, but um, a lot of these people say that, um, you know, if you set, if you make money in the glove industry, then you don't really love gloves. But um, I mean, <laughs> a lot of these guys are buying gloves and never taking the tags off, and you know they are the ones that just love gloves. You know, I think that's I don't know. Uh, to me, if you love gloves, you're gonna take the tags off and play with it. But that's just my opinion. Um, yeah. You know, this glove is a beauty, man. 1786, 11.5. Um, let's get some more positivity going in the, in the glove community, yeah? There's too much, um, there's too much, like, I don't know, it's too much just dividance between people, man. Like, um, a lot of people hate me, that's a given, but um, I don't really know why, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I'm not mad about it, because it's, I'm not gonna waste any time on it, but, um, you know, there's kids, then there's kids in the glove community that are getting gloves, and they don't, they might not have the tags on it. The next thing you know, you got a group of guys like talking shit about how that glove's worth nothing without the tags. It's like, dude, it doesn't matter, bro. Just let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. It's crazy. It's mind blowing to me, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, here it is, 1786 limited edition exclusive beauty. There we go. Um, and that's pretty much it. Subscribe, um, comment. Um, once I get to a certain amount of um, views or subscribers, I'm going to do a video of my whole collection. So it's up to you guys if you guys want to see that.
Um, yeah, today my glove of the day is this Pro Issue DW5. I think feels incredible. Um, you know, this is just an amazing glove, man. Um, also, check out the. Uh, I was I was blessed enough to be asked to be on an interview. I mean, to be on a podcast with Close Out Bat Close Out Bats. Um, so that podcast is up on their website. Go check it out. Uh, it was a really cool experience. Um, and besides, oh yeah, I'm doing a giveaway right now on my Instagram. You can check that out. Um, it's with Close Out Bats. Um, go join in on that. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I'll see you guys.